Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. PC Pit Stop is one of those resources that you don't realize you need and until you need it. You know, your computer is kind of wonky and you don't know what's going on. You need a set of tools to help improve uh, system performance. PC Pit Stop is the place to go. Head over to go.tagjag.com slash PC Pit Stop. The reason why I'm sending you through that link is because if you do decide to purchase any of their services, our community will get the credit. So I do appreciate uh, that kind of support if you do decide to use it. Go.tagjag.com slash PC Pit Stop. And these guys have been around for right around a decade. Uh, I've certainly uh, been aware of PC Pit Stop uh, since its inception. And uh, the reason why I'm talking about it now is, well, number one, to tell you that it exists if you didn't realize it. And two, uh, because they have a series called Ask the Pros. And it's, uh, I guess, something where they're handing questions to experts in the field. Now, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm an expert. I'm not really calling myself an expert. Pro? Sure. Specialist? Okay. Expert? Mm, I, I don't know everything, right? I don't know everything. We, no one knows everything. But I'm going to answer one of these questions uh, from the PC Pit Stop community, and I'm actually going to toss it back out to my community, uh, not just asking this question of the people who are in the chat room right now at live.perillo.com. Uh, that's the chat room we have open all the time with this live video feed. But also uh, to my community on YouTube, if you have uh, suggestions, uh, answers for this question, uh, feel free uh, to leave a video response, and uh, let's extend this and, and make it uh, you know, something bigger than uh, just me uh, giving my feedback. Question is pretty general. Uh, I'm asked this quite often, uh, no matter the operating system, although this is largely related to Windows. Uh, this is from Candace. How can I make my computer faster without purchasing memory? Uh, I always clean and defragment it, and it's still slow. What else can I do? Well, uh, you know, memory could speed things up, although there is a law of diminishing returns. Uh, you likely have more than enough. Uh, I would say, and since you hadn't mentioned a, an operating system specifically, I know it's Windows because you mentioned defragment. Um, if you're running Vista and you have an option, either upgrade to the Windows 7 release candidate or roll back to XP, one of the two. I would strongly recommend getting off Vista, even if you don't think it's uh, bad. A lot of people said the thing, same thing about uh, Windows Millennium Edition. I was right about that, as I was right about Windows Vista. Uh, in fact, a lot of uh, people who I know at Microsoft are already running the Windows 7 beta, the release candidate, on their production machines. So if they're doing it, I mean, you know, why wouldn't you? Give it a shot. Uh, the operating system is uh, as important as the software that you're running on the operating system. So if you're running XP, uh, stick with it. If you're running Vista, consider going back to XP so long as you have the driver's support. Uh, and, it, uh, and you may even consider uh, moving to Windows 7 release candidate if you do plan on, on getting Windows 7. And my recommendation is to uh, upgrade to Windows 7 when that is officially available later this year, allegedly. I think, is, is that what Microsoft's saying? Um, Linux? There's another option for you. I don't know if, see, I see, I, that's the thing. I, I'm not going to recommend Linux. And here's why. They're, they're not saying they want a different operating system. They just want a faster system. And the opera, I'm looking at the chat room over here that, that I have because I can't see it as clearly when it's you know sitting inside the video as you can see it. Um, I'm not going to recommend Linux at all because that's not what they're asking. Uh, defragging is, is only going to help you so much. If your hard drive is full, uh, consider getting rid of some of the data. And I don't mean deleting things uh, uh, willy-nilly. Uh, that would be uh, storing your documents uh, your video files, your uh, audio uh, images on a separate hard drive, potentially an external hard drive if you're not already pushing it to the cloud. Uh, you don't want to have your hard drive close to full because then it will not be running at, uh, um, I guess, optimum speed. Uh, another recommendation, since you don't want to go out and purchase memory, is potentially uh, getting an SSD instead of uh, an HDD that you likely have. That's probably your bottleneck is the speed of your hard drive. Um, if you don't want to upgrade any kind of hardware at all, then I guess there's no way around it. I would say uh, the hard drive would probably increase your speed more than adding memory. Uh, again, it's it's difficult to you know guess because I don't really have you know full specs of Candace's systems. I'm I'm, I'm just kind of I'm just kind of stabbing in the dark here. But the hard drive is likely the bottleneck of just about any system. Uh, after I had upgraded my Mac Pro to an SSD replacing the HDD, uh, it was just it's, it was like a completely different system. Such a speed increase, speed boost. 
a solid state drive versus a, a, a hard drive, you know, no moving parts versus moving parts. Uh, of course, you know, no friction, no moving parts was, you know, solid state uh, so much faster. Uh, it's definitely the, the way of the future as far as the immediate future of uh, storage as, as we uh, have it in uh, our, our current uh, range of uh, computers, whether they be Macs uh, or uh, regular old Windows slash Linux PCs. Um, how else could Candace uh, make her computer faster? How else could she make it faster? Just clean up Wizard? Yeah, she says she kind of cleans it, but I would say just clear it off. Uh, consider an operating system move. Uh, you may also consider a change in software. Um, uh, some people don't realize this. Um, you don't need to have Microsoft Word to edit a Word document or even view it. You could use Google Docs. Overclocking's not an option. That's, that's for extreme geeks. That's for gamers. I don't think Candace is a gamer. She's not talking about gaming. Open Office potentially, although Open Office runs slower than Microsoft Office, could be the software that you're using that's slow. Uh, not just the operating system, but the software you're running on. Uh, you may consider, uh, you know, uh, using alternative software for viewing PDFs. Uh, there are free versions uh, out there that uh, many in the community have likely uh, recommended. Um, another thing that I would recommend is. Stop using Internet Explorer. It, uh, well, it's, it, quite frankly, it sucks. Uh, JavaScript performance is horrible. And most sites these days are so uh, JavaScript uh, heavy that you want a browser that performs well, like very, very well. This is one of the reasons why I recommend Safari, Google Chrome, any WebKit-based web browser. Firefox 3.5, which is still in beta. Uh, out of all those, though, I'd say go with uh, Google Chrome, out of all those. And the reason why uh, is because, uh, well, you likely know the Google brand, and it's WebKit-based, and it's fast. So it's not just the operating system. Uh, it's not just the hardware. It's, it's a combination of all these things. And I, I'm just going to guess that Candace is using Internet Explorer. That's what most people are using. It could be Internet Explorer 6, at which point I go, even IE7, IE8. I'm going to stop doing that because I'm getting a headache. I recommend Google Chrome for Windows, honestly. Safari uh, is just as good on Windows, uh, either one. Google Chrome, I think, has more features, though, and it's, it's fast, fast, fast. If you thought your computer was slow, it's not your computer. It's your software. Just saying. I mean, that general statement, but it's a pretty uh, uh, accurate one as well, given my experience with hardware and software. It's like when you first install Windows on a system, everything's fast. Windows itself is okay. It's just when you throw crap on top of it, that's when things slow down. So uh, those are just a few tips that I'd pass along, general tips, uh, not a definitive list at all, but this is where I'm tossing it out to my community to uh, hear their suggestions. I'm sure many of them have been making them uh, those suggestions inside the video itself. That's why I place chat inside the videos that we record. It's there all the time. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you can join us in our community of tech experts, or enthusiasts. I don't know if they're all experts. Geeks.perillo.com. Then, uh, well, as I said before, we've got this chat room uh, that's uh, typically talking tech right here in conjunction with this live video feed going out over the web 24-7 at live dot perillo.com. We'll see you later.